Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at installing Conkey on a system running KDE Plasma 5 desktop. Now many of you will be familiar with Conkey, you will certainly have seen Conkey in many of my videos uh, in the past when I've run uh, Bunsen Labs, uh, usually on a Debian base. This is Plasma on OpenSUSE. Now Conkey and Plasma do not play very nicely together. In fact, it's the KWIN window manager that doesn't play very nicely with Conkey. Uh, you'll notice certain screen artifacts um, appearing. You'll find that the Conkey will not remain on the screen. As soon as you click anywhere on your desktop, you lose your, your Conkey. So we're going to have a look today at how to install it and more importantly, how to make sure that it stays put. Just like this little test demo Conkey you can see here on the right hand side. Now ignore the key bindings on this, this is not about the content of your Conkey, this is just how to get the thing to install and appear correctly. So this is what you can get it to look like. So without any further ado, let's get uh, Conkey installed and uh, let's take it from there. Okay, so as I said, this is OpenSUSE, so we need to fire up YAST to Installer not yeast, yast. There we go. And software management. Conky will be in every repo. Um, I've yet to find a distribution that does not have Conky. There we are. So we'll tick that on and we'll accept. And we'll let that install. And there we go. So that's our Conkey installed. Now, if we just run Conkey, that's what happens. That's the default Conkey file showing on the screen. So that's what comes standard as the default Conkey. Now, great, you might think. It's in the wrong place for a start. We can, we can change that, but... What happens if I click somewhere on the desktop? Oops, no more Conkey. And whatever you do, you can't bring that back. That's gone, never to return. So we need to fix that. And the way we fix that is to do the following. So we need to bring up our file manager and we need to bring up the file manager in super user mode. Um, difficult on some distributions of Plasma, unfortunately, but um, on OpenSUSE, we get the lovely super user mode for Dolphin. And here we are. Now, we need to navigate to Etsy. And in Etsy, we should find our, here we are, our Conkey folder. And we open. And Conkey.conf is our default Conkey file. And if we click that, it should open up in our default editor, which in this case is Kate reason these appear white, by the way, is because we are, of course, in super user mode. And in super user mode, the color schemes of the theme on the system are ignored. Uh, so uh, just in case you're wondering. Now, first amendment we need to make is we need to come down here and we need to find the entry on the Conkey file, which says own window type equals desktop. And we need to change that to doc. So it should read own window type equals doc. What that will do is it will dock the Conkey onto the desktop and permanently fix it into place. We hope. So we'll save. Conkey has reappeared. We can now close our editor. We can close our file manager. And now we click on the desktop. Fantastic. We have Conkey running nicely there on the left and nothing I do on the desktop is going to cause a problem. However, we do have a problem because let's fire up an application. So let's just fire up. What should we fire up? Um, HTOP. Now watch what happens if we take our lovely console window over towards the Conkey. Oh dear, it's going behind and the Conkey is remaining on top. So not what we want at all. So we need to fix that so that Conkey always stays in the background, pinned to the background desktop in effect. 
So how do we do that? Well, we need to add a Kwin script. We need to tell Kwin, add some rules to Kwin to tell it to keep the conkey in the background and to allow windows to basically float across the conkey. And we do that as follows. So we need to go into our system settings. And we need to go into window management, window rules, and we need to add some new window rules. So description, we'll call it conky, funnily enough. Uh, window class, um, it needs to be exact match. And this needs to say conky for the conky application. So that's that tab correctly filled out. Uh, the next one we need to go to is arrangement and access. And we need to tick the box which says keep below. Okay. And false. With a yes. So that's going to tell this to keep the conky below the main window. It's going to force it to do that. And we've told it yes. That's what we want to do. So now we click OK. And then we click Apply. And we can close that. And now if we open good old HTOP and we drag over, it covers the conkey as we would expect. Now, that's not a very nice looking conkey. So I'm not going to tell you how to design a conkey. You, you can go and do that yourself. Um, everyone's idea of a good conkey is different, so I won't interfere and give you any guidance there. I have a few made up from previous distributions, so all I'll do here is just show you how to swap the default for a replacement conkey. So with no further ado, I have one saved in my home folder just for convenience. So I'm going to just copy that. Now, if you remember, Conkey was in root Etsy Conkey, and this was our default Conkey. So what we'll do is we'll rename that to what should we call it? We'll rename that to dot backup which will stop the system from seeing it and then we'll paste our new conky into the folder so that now becomes our default conky file so now when we restart our conky the new conky file appears and it appears in the location that we've set which in this instance is over on the right hand side so i hope you found that useful it's a way to um, get conky installed on a difficult desktop for conky just to prove that it does actually work we'll just load something up and drag it over and as you can see transparency works it floats above the conky when we release it sits above just as we would expect so hopefully you found that useful. Um, keep uh, your eyes peeled for some more useful KDE Plasma and OpenSUSE videos. But uh, bye for now.